two, one. As COVID-19, the disease caused by the new coronavirus continues to spread as a pandemic around the globe, we see more and more ripple effects in the space sector. For instance, very recently, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine ordered a mandate that virtually all NASA employees work from home, remotely in some fashion. Now, this makes this a stage three response to the pandemic, so there are still select mission personnel who will be allowed on site at NASA to work non-remotely. Um, now, if this does progress to a stage four, that will mean that all NASA employees will be working remotely and telecommuting. But for the meantime, there will still be select mission personnel from NASA on site. Now, another effect that, has, that we've seen take place at NASA has been on the missions themselves. Now, as everything shifts with how people are working and how priorities are shifting with regard to health and safety, uh, we have seen a number of missions, science missions, already get postponed. This includes a number of airborne science missions that so far are most likely to be postponed to later this year. Now, in addition to NASA making changes to the everyday working structure and to mission timelines, we see a number of ripple effects in the private space sector. For instance, Virgin Galactic has seen a lot of changes in their stock, as many companies have with response to the pandemic. Additionally, companies like Blue Origin and like Boeing have issued orders and different regulations to their employees to work from home and limit travel to ensure safety. Now, SpaceX has not done this yet. However, SpaceX founder Elon Musk has stated that if employees are feeling ill, it's best that they stay home. Now, it's tough to say exactly how this will continue to play out, so we will just have to watch it and see how it goes. Now, speaking of watching it and seeing how it goes, those mission timelines. Because people will not be able to work on site for the large part, a lot of spacecraft development and building might also shift with regards to when things will be finished and when things will be launching. But again, only time will tell. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, one other major ripple effect of the coronavirus in the space sector has been the cancellation and change of conferences and of large space gatherings. For instance, conferences like Space Symposium or Satellite 2020 have been postponed until a later date, whereas the Northeast Astronomy Forum has actually gone totally virtual. They're going to be planning to put their lectures and their talks and information online instead of having people gather in person for the yearly event. So we will keep you all up to date as things change within the space sector and as everything continues to evolve. With Space.com, I'm Chelsea Goad. Stay tuned right here to keep up to date.